वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर नीरू टंडन फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश वी एस एस जी कॉलेज कानपुर वी आर डिस्कसिंग पेपर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टीचिंग एंड दिस मॉड्यूल बेसिक कंसेप्ट इन लैंग्वेज टेस्टिंग रिटन बाय बीना अग्रवाल इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक वेयर आफ्टर लर्निंग द लैंग्वेज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट the testing of particular language the present module is going to focus on some pedagogical approaches in the formation of test administration of test and evaluation of test in this module the emphasis is on the concept of test construction variety of test the psychological ability of students various types of test use of text and testing to bring out the best results of teaching learning process it works as a tool to make a measurement of the desirable changes in the behavior of the learner whenever we talk about language the first thing that comes in the mind is the human being because language is associated with human sensibility in the wider context language is a potent role to promote the skills of communication it helps in promoting the communications of meaning and sharing of experience in a group it is a system of arbitrary commonly shared by a group or a community i repeat this system is of the arbitrary systems commonly shared by a group or a community since it makes the expressions meaningful and comprehensive it extends the horizon of human thought A H Gardiner defined language in the widest sense means the sum total of such signs of our thoughts and feelings as are capable of external perception and as could be produced and repeated at will in this definition it has been accepted that language is a tool of thoughts and feelings moreover language is a social construct including arbitrary vocal symbols hence it is neither mechanical nor static phenomena however it retains innate capacity of native speakers to understand and to form grammatical sentences it i mean grammatically correct sentences according to webster it transfers knowledge with a view to bring out desirable changes in behavior it also consults educational objective then communication and finally the change in behavior the change in behavior is to be estimated with the help of tools like educational objectives are there teaching process should be taken care of then again change in behavior and finally testing language learning is not a mechanism of piling of knowledge but a process of acquiring language skills we all know that language is a system of arbitrary symbols a flower is there then we must have a image then only we can understand what the flower is only by saying flower nobody can understand if he or she has not seen the flower in front of his or her own eyes in the same way when we say umbrella umbrella is an object that has got a different and a definite shape unless and until we can show the umbrella through image or in uh, practically it is not easy for the student or the learner to understand the concept of umbrella so language is a body of words and method of combining words bird is just a word combination of letters but this is a bird when we show it it becomes a sentence it becomes combination of word with a certain image and that gives a perception learning skills denote the idea of ability to use those signs to express one's views in sign we just have the pictures as well so you can see in this particular image that language skills are having two dimensions one is comprehension the other is expression of course when we comprehend something then also the language skill is working though we have not said anything we have not expressed anything so two parts like reading and just understanding portion is there as comprehension then there is expression 
we read after reading when we want to express it we can express through speaking or through writing so oral and written re listening and reading comprehension are there while speaking or written compre comprehension is there through expression as i told you that test in whatever form it may be it is testing the language skills when we talk about the oral that is the comprehension the listening so one by one i'll take all the four skills how to test them test of the listening skill how attentive the learner is while listening so listening is not a passive thing listening is the active skill and if he is listening properly then listening comprehension can be done for testing this skill that a passage is just spoken by the teacher and learners they are supposed to listen it so comprehensively and actively that afterwards when teacher is asking the questions based on that comprehension passage they should be in the position to answer just after listening once in the same way when we just take the test of reading so a passage can be given to them for reading and afterwards they can have the test a very uh, funny game i will like to just share with you and that is enjoyed i have devised it i have used it with my students as well uh, you can do one thing that you can have a paragraph written in bold letters at least of 10 lines or 12 lines it, it depends upon how many students you are putting in one group so 10 to 12 lines not beyond that put them outside the classroom you have groups and tell your students to go there in that particular group and just read one sentence and just retain that one sentence you will they will be given just half minute for that they will come in the classroom and start writing whatever they know what whatever uh, sentence they can just remember what they have just seen over there after our second group we will go they will do the same process and then they will sit together to make the passage complete which a student has read which line and which line comes after which so this will be a funny experience for them and they will have various qualities like retaining like how to comprehend a passage because every student has gone through just one sentence they have not gone through the whole passage so it will be depending on them how they just make that those sentence as a complete whole so you can use this or similar kind of various technique in your classroom in the same way when you take talk about expression then oral you can take viva you can ask certain questions you can give them certain situations or debate so that they can come up and answer in the same way written is easy give them certain topics or questions so that they may answer now formation of test we are testing what we are going to test we are going to test the capability of the learner how capable he is after learning all these four skills lsrw so whatever he learns will be expressed will be tested through these four skills only now it must specifically be skill oriented because of this particular reason in the case of oral comprehension the emphasis must be on the recognition of oral sounds sound units to identify the difference between different sounds comprehension of the distinction of english sound system and the sound systems maintained in native tongue for this purpose at different levels students can be given passages or stories to discern definite meanings out of them so this will be the test of the oral comprehension then we come to the written comprehension which is also an essential part of language i repeat which is also an essential part of language acquisition 
to make assessment of oral comprehension the test must be arranged keeping in mind the level of the student it is to examine the understanding level of the students the short stories paragraphs essays can be given to students to analyze the structures words and phrases being used in a specific context then these can be chain of questions for the interpretation of language items questions meant for in depth analysis question to trace out the relationship in the different characters or events students might be asked to frame the ideas based on the description of elements in the given passage more than grammatical structure in the proposed test the emphasis must be given to the ability to interpret the meaning and the significance of the integrated message the third place in the formation of language text is given to oral expression or the art of speaking in the formation of language test it is to be noted that a student must be able to express themselves in fluent and correct english for the assessment of speaking ability in the process of administering a test the emphasis must be on correct speech sounds appropriate management of stress intonation and the use of appropriate words and structures the student must express the ability to communicate ideas in a very very organized manner for the assessment of spoken skills the students can be given the test like recitation rapid reading group discussion speech writing debates drama reading extempore etc written expression is an essential skill in the process of language acquisition so in foreign language or in the second language student they may find it difficult to communicate properly because writing skills require greater balance of the diverse elements you cannot change it in the process of written expression it is essential to have an active command over content length of composition use of vocabulary structures application of words and phrases and dexterous command on the rules of grammar should be judged written composition provides maximum space for the testing of language related items hence the test designed for the assessment written composition required greatest care in the arrangement and assessment of test each test must be specific related to the ability of students in the construction of such test the emphasis should be on construction of corrective and effective structure subject and verb agreement is very very important because most of the student they don't take care of this subject verb agreement and the beauty of the language and the way they behave they, the way they communicate is rotten because of subject and verb agreement and they become a laughing stock use of correct word and correct spelling is also very very important understanding and application of idioms and phrase appropriate application of punctuation marks capital letters balance of the pattern of sentences transformation of sentences and the logical organization of sentences should be taken care of besides these in depth details the composition must be structured as a whole to communicate complete messages for these type of tests there can be the exercises like paragraph writing story writing essay writing writing long paragraphs long answers analytical answers creative answers critical answers descriptive type of answers report writing letter writing or the writing composition language skill forms the basis of teaching learning process in language including material and strategy there are four things like course recommended strategy material and then comes testing test is an essential tool to study the behavioral changes test helps to drive conclusion regarding the modification of material and strategy after taking test then only we can come to conclusion whether this particular methodology or strategy for teaching language is good or not is effective or not if yes 
to what level according to the expectations of ncert test meant for evaluation aims at determining the extent to which an object is being attained the effectiveness of the learning experience provided in the classroom and how the goals of education have been accomplished in this respect text in the process of english language learning is essential to derive conclusions regarding the usefulness of the teaching material and content to estimate the ability and acquisition of level of a student to find out the level of the pace of the progress of learner and also to find out the details of qualitative and quantitative outcome of teaching and learning process if we want to introduce reforms in educational system with the outcome of test the policy makers and teachers can evaluate the effectiveness of system in order to seek information about all behavioral changes and to achieve the aims of flexibility and effectiveness for the use of multi dimensional means and technique we need test to seek feedback for the entire english language teaching program and to motivate the student for a more effective participation in teaching learning process the test or the evaluative process should be considered seriously there are various types of test achievement test proficiency test diagnostic test and aptitude test we'll discuss them one by one first of all we are talking about achievement test what is it it is in short a formal assessment of course proficiency test impersonal formal in structure and determines the level of course material now achievement test or progress test such test help to find out the level of acquisition of the skills of students being communicated through teaching such test are essentially related to the assessment of formal courses to administer these tests the teacher must make them a sort of common scheme of work the achievement tests are fruitful to make predictions regarding failure in learning and handling of material achievement tests are useful only for the promotion of the students for the next level while proficiency tests are impersonal in nature proficiency test helps to expose the present status of the learner in it no attention is paid to formal structure these tests are designed only to evaluate entry level proficiency and are not the tools for the judgment of ability or achievement these tests can be conducted on the vast scale and have a little possibilities of the past abilities of the student in entrance test such proficiency tests are conducted to know the ability in english language teaching courses objective type and multiple choice questions related to grammar and vocabulary can be designed for such type of assessment now there is another type that i mentioned previously diagnostic test test to diagnose the weakness of the student takes into consideration both past and present aptitude test is futuristic in approach and mechanism to assess the natural ability is done through aptitude test diagnostic tests are very very significant in english language courses it is not the test of ability the test seeks to classify and to identify shortcomings in learners abilities when we diagnose the problem then only we can come to certain solutions after doing this diagnostic test teacher is in the position to devise the right kind of material the right kind of strategy and methods and approaches for the benefit of the learners it sets the ground to modify the teaching skill to improve the level of acquisition in the learner so the aptitude test are not of past and present they are concerned with the future possibility of tests and has nothing to do with the learned earlier it helps to judge the natural ability of looking the signs and on the basis of the aptitude test the teachers or the instructors they can guide these student that in future which area they should 
go they should adopt for their working and what should be the future studies those things can be guided on the basis of the aptitude test now qualities of effective test what are the qualities of effective test harmony between teaching and testing if you are testing something that you have not taught then you should not expect much from the student so there should be harmony appropriateness of that particular test awareness of the level of a student should be there so what are the desirable outcome a good test must contain validity reliability and objectivity and the ability to discriminate teacher must be aware of the interdependence of test provided and the expected outcomes both the setter and the taker of the test stay on the target if grammatical skills are to be tested the focus should not be on pronunciation of vocabulary test must be free from ambiguity and these unambiguous test can safely be evaluated by machines or by any indifferent authority when objective tests are be done then most of the times they are being tested judged corrected by the machine because answers are already there in the machine feeded by humans and on the basis of that they judge so there is no bias no uh, situation where a teacher can have certain limitations so a good objective test is a valuable tool for the grammar item and vocabulary range in english language teaching the objective tests are required to have well constructed test items beyond the range of preju prejudice of paper setter the evaluation of good objective test can ensure better possibilities for the assessment of individuals teacher and test both are interrelated the efficiency of test depends on teachers awareness of teaching various skills let us talk about formative assessment which should be short immediate which works as a feedback and contains active participation of learner formative assessment is an effective mechanism of testing language skill it has following characteristics it involves a short duration of time and therefore can be administered without much formal participation it works as an instant device to note the immediate changes in the behavior of students it provides better possibilities of the active participation of students in teaching learning process in english language teaching courses a skill based test can be conducted in formative assessment it works as immediate feedback both for the students and teachers the learners can estimate their own shortcomings and teachers can take immediate step to modify teaching strategy to improve the achievement level of students it finally helps to organize diagnostic test and remedial teaching then another kind of test is the summative test which has comprehensive evaluation which aims at testing different skills simultaneously and which is useful for promotion and comparative assessment of a student can be done on the basis of summative test summative tests are comprehensive in nature and therefore they help to study the overall performance of the learner summative tests are essential to determine the direction of promotion as it is unified in nature it determines the variation in quality of the achievement level of a student it is helpful for the comparative merit criteria of a student it is needed for the selection and promotion of the student because they work as integrated test taking into account the various items of language prescribed in the course summative evaluation aims at assessment of all the four language skills and these tests are well scheduled well organized and can be administered on a large group at the same time we can also classify the test as formal and informal test 
formal test where no personal interaction is there they are fixed in time and content no space for individual differences they may be dull mechanical or monotonous the informal test have serious psychological value in teaching learning process it has the following qualities that are often missing in formal assessment it helps to establish better rapport and bonding between learner and teacher there is a greater flexibility in formal test that can accommodate the individual differences of learners it is free from the burden of stress and monotony it promotes active participation of learner and it is essential to inspire the natural abilities of the learners from a state of passive learning it passes in the domain of active learning that is much much desirable its canvas is comprehensive it can be applied without any formal preparation it helps the learners to make their self assessment it promotes the personality of learner in totality including interest aptitude ability to express sharing the views with others and of others views as well however for the successful presentation of formative test on the part of tutor it is essential to have a perfect insight and control over learning objective teaching strategies learning material and more than that examiner must be free from prejudices he must be absolutely impartial towards all the students informal tests are flexible in terms of time and content individual differences are there at micro unit and personal interaction between teacher and taught is possible there are various devices of evaluation subjective essay type test and objective test they are on different levels and they test the different capabilities of the learners subjective test are there to test the power of expression they test the writing skills they test the easy construction they test the execution level difficulty in evaluation is there in subjective test because they can be dull and mechanical essay writing composition analytical answers and comprehension are the examples of the subjective test as far as objective type tests are concerned they work as proficiency test they are easy to administer they are easy to check variety flexibility is there they are interesting they cover a wide course but they are limited in scope limited in range as a tool of evaluation in english language teaching gradually objective type tests are getting prominence these tests are supported to be modern flexible and interesting so it is free from the blemishes of prejudice and personal judgment the reliability and validity in these tests is greater as compared to essay type questions proficiency tests are best conducted through objective type test the level of difficulty of language items help to discriminate the position and level of students the popularity of these objective type test is for the following reasons objectivity is the chief characteristic of objective type of test it is free from personal prejudice it follows a unified pattern of evaluation and even an examiner beyond a specific subject can make evaluation with the standard keys available objective type test are reliable as well the position of examiner time or place no longer affect the position of marks obtained the objective type test have a greater validity and purposefulness cronbach comments i quote the validity of a test is that extent up to which it measures for what it has been constructed in english language teaching courses the objective type test can be conducted to evaluate the vocab and the usage of grammar easily it provides better space for the wide range of questions and variety in objective type test help to break the monotony of examination system in spite of immense popularity of objective type test there are certain limitations of these test since objective type test are informative student in original thinking and the in depth analysis of the subject matter cannot express themselves chance factors reduce the possibility of authentic evaluation 
students can fetch good marks even on the basis of presumptions it is very difficult to construct a valid and reliable test higher intellectual faculties can't be tested through evaluation of objective matter it is expensive in terms of printing typing and evaluation in english language teaching the ability related to language skills and expressions can't be measured through objective type test it can't encourage originality in the students in these tests students do not get an opportunity to organize analyze and compare their thoughts expression of critical thinking is not possible to come in front of the teacher objective type test in english language teaching are not suitable for reading and writing skills so they are simple recall type test completion test alternative response multiple choice matching type classification type and analogy type so one can just have these various kind of tests like verbal oral test group discussions debates quiz speeches rapid reading recitation drama reading all these type of things can act as testing the skills of the readers and the learners so text and teaching text can significantly contribute as the tools of teaching so reading the text pronunciation grammar items sentence structure comprehension vocabulary items and deconstruction of the subtext is also part of testing process it is a fact well acknowledged that the pace of learning a native language is different from that of a foreign or a second language to internalize the process of acquisition of language skills rigorous efforts are needed the objectives of language teaching on the one hand synchronized with the need of individual and on the other it must be synchronized with the teaching strategies and teaching tools the purpose of language teaching is not a process of the piling of knowledge but a process of acquiring the basic skills of language hence the organized pattern of testing is essential to bring out the best of teaching process and to determine the direction of the future actions so just to sum up one more thing i will like to say that testing is very very essential these days the debate is going on that examination system should be just avoid it but some of the other kind of examination system or the testing sh- system should be there so that the qualification of the students should be graded they should get the feel that what is the level where they stand otherwise after some time when they will face the testing position then all of a sudden they won't be able to judge and to make improvement in their status keep learning keep testing thank you for visiting epg patshala